Alright guys, how you doing? Glad you clicked on the video. So, I was asked recently if working at AT&T is fun. And, I mean, obviously I say that with a bit of a smile on my face because there's like a lot of different ways to answer it. But basically, I think everyone would agree with me that like has worked there and like other people I've worked with. The experience is like not bad at best. It's not by no means the worst. It's not bad. But I wouldn't I wouldn't say fun either. Nobody would say fun, you know. In my opinion fun would be like something you would do with your friends, you know, or video games, football, whatever. So, why do I say not bad? Um Well, I mean there's a lot of different ways to look at it, and I do um, have plans to like make a whole series out of just working at AT and T, because like I got so many stories I could tell, weird people I worked with, as in customers and in other employees. I got, um, you know, just the good side of the business, the bad side, uh, all the different managers I've had in my little over a year now of working there um could answer a lot of questions but anyways anyways you know back to is it fun um again it really it, it's not bad like you spend half the day watching tv anyways but then it's like you know you're making close to minimum wage if you're just watching tv you know it is a commission job, um, even though recently I've been getting a lot of tips, which is nice, um, you know, when people just come in with generic questions, which I'd say like a quarter of your crowd is just old people, old people or iPhone users with questions. I say iPhone users because, I don't know, they... I guess I used to be an iPhone user, but I knew how to use it, and, you know, when when you aren't able to answer someone's question, there's always someone to call, like, AT&T customer service, you can call Apple, you can call AT&T, the professional, or tech support, which a lot of people are, are subscribed to, but never use, um, Uh, I mean, another store manager, if, like, you don't have a phone in stock, or you just don't know how to ring something out, because, like, they really don't show you, you just kind of gotta, like, go out of your way to ask, or figure it out, like, I'm, I've always been pretty good about that, in a weird way, like, nowadays, I, I, don't have to ask anyone how to like ring things out do certain things on accounts people are always calling and asking me um just again because i pay attention um and i just that's part of the job like you can you can have a lot of phone knowledge and like you know people are really be impressed or you can just you know not know anything and just be there to Hopefully get a few easy iPhone sales and sell some accessories and whatever. Um, and then like the last part of this, of course you, you got to bring up TV. Now I'm on the the third party side. Um, it was Spring Mobile, then it merged and just became Prime. And like yeah, TV is important, but like. You know, I've, I've heard things from the corporate stores where, like, they will literally talk to you about TV until you're, like, red in the face, which is, like, crazy. And, like, again, on the third-party side, I've had people come from corporate stores to, like, buy phones from us because they, you know, don't want to hear about a direct TV pitch for the millionth time. Um, so, right. I, 
I've always had a good experience talking about DirecTV now, um, or pretty soon it's going to be called AT&T TV now, um, just because, like, it is cheap, I always tell people, hey, you know, if you know someone else that watches some TV, you know, just share your account with them, get 20, 30 bucks out of them, boom, you know, you can't beat a $30 cable bill, or $20, and that was something too, back in what I call the golden age of DirecTV now, I think it's switched in like March or April, and just became more expensive, less channels, and back back in the day, you know, 50, yeah, 50 bucks, you could get your, um, you could get, or what was that package called, I actually, uh, still have it now, just right, you get all your sports, locals, several other popular channel, popular channels like community, or community, uh, Comedy Central, um, you can get those all for 50 bucks, and then, like, I just split it with my mom, so I just have my account signed in at her place, and she just gives me 20 bucks a month, and, you know, I, again, I've always had, like, good experiences bringing it up now, um, I, ha I had one guy, you know, he liked it so much, this was right before they switched it to, I remember. He literally wrote me a card, sent it to the store, put in twenty dollars, and it's like, it's not even the car, or I mean, it's not even the money. It, it's just like the card. I that's like the coolest part of me that this guy, actually like took time out of his day. He came into my store upset about regular Directv, and like it's so funny too because the certain, you'll have a couple people every month upset about regular Directv. And in an AT and T store, you can't. All you can do is start service with Directv. You can call in with them and cancel it, but like, I mean, you can pull up their account, you can pay a bill, and you can see what package you're on for Directv. But you can't change it. You can't like, you know, Directv's got their production plans. You can't take those off. You you can't do anything. Like it's just pay the bill, start service. That's all you can do. In an AT and T store with Direct TV. Um, so yeah. Anyway, still once in a while people come in all upset. Oh, or recently, okay, Direct TV they they lost uh, CBS, and I, I had someone come in all upset, and I'm like, you know what? I, I'm with you. Let's just cancel it. And let me show you Direct TV now. Hey, you split it with someone else. You know, we're talking about a $35 cable bill, and you get all your sports. You know, now it doesn't have NFL Network. But, yeah, hopefully the Thursday night games this year, they're on, like, Twitter or, you know, some other website. <laughs> Anyways. Um, and, again, it, it was a, you know, she came in upset, but it ended up being great. And, like, she wasn't even that upset for that long. So... Stuff like that always um, feels good, you know, when, like, customer comes in upset, worried, whatever, and, like, you're able to fix their problem, go above and beyond, like, people have been coming in, hands-free this, hands-free that, uh, new, new law in Minnesota, like, you're not allowed to hold your phone. You cannot drive and hold your phone at the same time. Even if you're not doing anything on your phone, it, it's now against the law, hands-free. So, like, a lot of people have been coming in for that, and, like, you know, I can sell them, uh, well, now we're out of them, but back then, the, like, cell phone holders and show them, again, iPhone uses, they don't, they don't know anything. Hey, you know, show them Siri, set it up for them, and, you know, in two seconds, okay, now you're able to call, text, whoever, you can do it hands-free, and I just sold you a, um, uh, whatchamacallit, in a commission job, so I made a few bucks, and it didn't really take that long, and, you know, 
like interactions like that, they all around feel great. Um, so yeah, I mean that that would be the good. I guess the bad again, it would be the getting out the premiums and like again, it just blows my mind that in corporate stores they literally talk about it past the point of like a simple no like that 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 blows my mind because like satellite tv in 2019 is just so outdated like get internet you know and you can get all all the good channels that you want hbo what you know whatever movie add-on you know through the internet so i i think it's outdated i get like you're like my dad and live way out in the woods and you know that's your only option you know I get it but no, I it, it's outdated and um unless you know they're paying a big bill with someone else it does suck to talk about it um cause you know I, I feel like we've all been in like Walmart or Costco and seen like a Comcast or you know whatever the affiliate like let me call it Xfinity here now Comcast people trying to sell it to you and it's like well you know people again people our age Millennials and younger how much TV do we really watch like that that's the dumbest thing too like why like they're in the Netflix they have no TV at home it doesn't matter if DirecTV is $35 a month for the first year they they don't even want to pay that. So, like, why? Yeah. Um. I guess the bad, too. I guess when people... Or when you got to tell people that you don't have a phone in stock. Which isn't a, as big a deal on the corporate side. The store's owned by AT&T. But the third-party side, it's just, like, horrible. How just understocked. We are on phones. Like, not everyone wants to buy the iPhone XR, the iPhone XS Max, 64 gigabyte. Most people want the 256 size. Um, but for whatever reason, they only send 64 gigabyte sizes. You know, it, it's just people like that. If they worked in the store for just a month, you know, you took the people out of the corporate office and they worked in the store for a month, busy store, not so busy store, whatever, I feel like they would learn so much, like, yeah, sure, sometimes when people come in for the 8 plus, you can talk them into the XR, I mean, you do have the option to ship it, but people want to walk out today with a phone, and like, you got to pitch them the XR, or else they're going to go to the, another location that has that 8 plus, and that other location is probably going to be a corporate store, so you can't transfer it to your store and you get no credit for the sale kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, that would be my message to them. Not everyone wants an XR. Like, we've gone, you know, I remember when the S10s came out this year. We went a solid two months from the time of launch to May they they're like mid March, mid mid May. We went without an S10 Plus. Again, we can ship them. We can ship them all day. But again, people want to people want to get their device right away. And like again, the people in the corporate office don't get like if my phone's broken, I need something today. And I I I totally understand that. You know. And then, um, you know, there's, there's just so much you could go on there. Like, I, I've had big Asian families come into my store before, and, like, they all want to do Samsungs, and then I pull it up. Well, we got a S10e and a blue S10, and, you know, they're, they're immediately on the phone with some other store, or, again, a corporate-owned at t location that has, you know, five of every size and color for the 
for you know the S10 model. So you know it it's stuff like that that's definitely a little bit frustrating. Um, because then you know on our side, oh, we'll just just ship them, and if you know if they accept the shipping or throw in some free accessories, but then it's like great. You know, now I'm also losing my accessory sale and whatever. Um, the bad would also be like our bill issues. And like, p people really don't get this, but like, if your bill is fucked up, again, like, you could maybe talk to the manager in a location and they can give you credit, but otherwise, even if, even if I agree with you, it's messed up. You know, we still gotta call customer service anyways. They they gotta look at it. They gotta adjust it. Um, if you were promised something by customer service, you definitely gotta call them. Cause like, in store, you know, okay, I can pull up your account and maybe see something in the notes. Oh, the loyalty department promised them this. Okay. Right, you didn't get this bill credit, this hundred dollar bill credit for buying the phone X, and okay, we'll call them up, and I'll just tell you know directly tell them, but like you know stuff like that, they um, they need to figure out. But in the end of the day, I've I've definitely had fun days there, but again, for the most part, it's not bad. Um, it feels great selling stuff. Other days it's just really boring when it's all fucking tech issues and like you have people. Oh, well, my phone did a software update and now my ringer doesn't work and it's like, or one lady. I got AT and T and they did a software update and now my phone doesn't work. It's like no, that's a Motorola. Android, you know, they they do the software updates. AT and T, Verizon, Sprint, T Mobile, they provide the towers, the connection. They do the billing. Like they they do not, you know, work with um like software updates. Again, like if you buy carrier specific, they might have their own like apps on there or bloatware, whatever you want to call it in the beginning, like whatever carrier you get you're you get you're gonna get like with AT&T my AT&T app where you can go to pay your bill Verizon whatever their pay bill pay app is called um but otherwise again I, I could go into like all the different customers I've noticed from other carriers and like the crazy 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 complaints from other carriers and like um I've seen people switch for like the dumbest reasons in the world like you guys you guys don't even know I mean oh my god I've talked for almost 20 minutes but like I don't know I, I could just go on and on and on and like I, I think to end this I, I can talk a little bit about like the people I worked with but again I could I could easily make another 20 minute video on that, but they, they also play a role, like, I've had the managers that are very loose, that are, like, never negative, that are, you know, always picking you up, and then I've had the managers that, like, don't care what you do, you could sell them DirecTV, CenturyLink, or whatever internet you have in your area, but here it's CenturyLink, the affiliate. You could do a freaking buy one, get one with them. You could do all this crap. Three accessories. And, like, I, again, I've had those managers that are still like, what else could you get out of this sale? Why didn't you ask them if they needed, you know, even though they bought a new phone and it came with a wired charger and you told them a wireless charger, why didn't you ask them if they wanted a wired charger? Like, you know, another 20 bucks of... Why didn't you ask them this? Why didn't you ask them who they currently had for TV, even though you sold them the new TV? Like, why do I, why do I care what they're doing now? If they want that, you know, I just, I've, 
I've had those managers again that are just on top of you and write you a review and it's like I ain't gonna read this fucking three pages of bullshit. I sold them fucking T V, CenturyLink. If you think it's that easy, you guys go and do it, you know. I feel like when it comes to being a manager on the third party side, you, you gotta have the age. You gotta be older because when you're like the youngest, like every single meeting we have, I'm always the youngest at 23. Like that that's the first thing. You gotta be older. Um you gotta be like somewhat of a leader, but because I basically my first manager was a good one. He taught me everything. All my managers after him, I've pretty much known how to use all all our systems, ring out all the promotions right, and like more about phones and promotions than like all of them. Well, no, no, I I have known more about phones and promotions and than them, but you know they. I mean, I guess it's good, and I guess everyone's got their own style, but you know, they, I I don't I don't like the whole talking like it's easy thing. I like, I like, you know, the pat on the back, like, nice dude, you brought up TV, you know, you closed the sale on the wireless charger, so you sold them the bundle, um, so yeah, I like stuff like that. Otherwise, yeah, that's about it. Um, again, like, I, I basically just hit like the top of a lot of icebergs for like different topics I could cover. Um I wanna do like a Q and A video like working at AT and T, you know, you guys like put questions in the comment and I'll make another video. And maybe if it's a really good question, I'll have one whole video like this. Is AT and T fun? You know, maybe I'll be a little bit more on track. But just it, it depends what I wanna do, what you guys wanna hear. Um Maybe you guys want to hear about weird customers, weird employees, employees that got fired. Oh my god, drama. Like, the kids, the kids that watch this, a lot of you, you know, you have your Discord drama, your Minecraft drama, whatever, your Fortnite drama, but, yeah, it's, if you like drama, AT&T, like, there's always something in some store that's fucked up, like, I've been there with my store, because, you know, the new store I'm in, it's just been a revolving door, and I've had to go five straight, open to closes, solo, like, no. Again, that's why, that's why now I'm working three days a week and looking for another job, because shit like that, that's, they don't get it. Um, and I, I guess that's, like, an advantage to working in a third-party store is you don't, you don't have a manager on top of you the whole time. Like, I, I had one buddy who I'd love to have on the series, um, we did, like, a whole entire month in one of our locations of just open to close by himself 90% of the month. There's one other guy there, but he calls in sick a whole bunch. And keep in mind, this wasn't even his home store. He had his regular store, plus he was putting in all these other, all these extra hours in this other location that he didn't want to work into. Uh, another topic I could cover, fraud. I've had, like, several bad fraud attempts. I've only had one person get fraud on me, and it was when I was new, and, um... Yeah, I mean, whatever you guys want to hear, love to see it in the comments. Um, again, it's not bad. Work when it's busy. Get your sales. Get the hell out of there. Don't. Y if you're behind on money, definitely work at AT and T because they'll give you they'll give you overtime. There's always some store. Somebody's sick. Somebody doesn't like somebody. Somebody has this going on, somebody's dying, you know, like, I, I used to be one of those people that took all these extra hours, and, like, I don't know, now it's, now it's not worth it, now, 
all this money I made for working all these extra hours is literally just sitting in a bank account, you know, doing nothing, and, you know, I, I missed out, you know, seeing whoever, and, you know, just something to think about, but if you are looking for extra hours, maybe you're behind, need some money, at and is a great option, because you can just work all day, all night, <laughs> well, I guess not at night, because we close at 7 or 8, or if you're in a mall 9, so, otherwise, yeah, if you're still watching, thanks, leave a question, if you got any, or tell me on whatever site, but I do plan to make more of these videos.